Williams, Figueroa, and Omoruyi all above 10 points per game. Here is Duarte, great shot maker, but that time a little miscommunication on the floor. He really is a gravitational force as a transfer from St. John's. And a good fit uh, with the length, the versatility. All right, Oregon looking to get on the board for the first time here. Omoruyi from three, and that is way off the mark. Good save, though, from Duarte. If you don't score, you can't set up your press. Goodwin gets swarmed, and it's ripped away by Duarte. Up ahead, Figueroa filling the lane. Can't fill it up. Teams in the Pac-12, they're also first in terms of threes made per game at eight. Here's another one from Duarte, and cannot hit. Alignments, combinations of players, uh, motivational methods, something to kind of snap them out of uh, that invasion of the body snatchers. And maybe it's Chris Duarte uh, taking over. Eight assists on 11 field goals for the Trojans already. Duarte, the response, bottom. Of the arc on that shot. Duarte, can he put his team on his back? We've seen it in the past. We've seen him just shoulder the scoring load, and Duarte starting to feel it from downtown himself. Yeah, we talked about not only shooting the ball, and as mentioned earlier, when he scores in double figures, USC is 15-2 and two on the season. Duarte taking over, can't get the bounce, rebound inside. Roll with Mobley. I like the aggressive double, but they let him out of it. Forces a turnover, though. Aggressive defense here by the Ducks. Numbers the other way. Sides have really utilized that transfer market to grab talent and integrate them pretty seamlessly into the, the lineup. Similar, LJ Figueroa, a great example with a three ball. As we see USC break the full court press, Edie going to launch one. Why not with the night that he's had so far, but can't hit there. He's got 24 points as Duarte lost it initially and then does throw it away. Peterson, lob it up. Oh, slam it down. Bearing on the court, just a cool customer and gifted in terms of the ease that he plays the game with. Figueroa, another three ball. Has seven. His energy can change a game. We've seen him on the glass, but his length defensively in terms of the big block in transition. Good change of pace, not to be the master of the obvious. Duarte, good patience, good looking stroke. Yeah, took his time. Bringing size advantage at six foot one, but Terry at just six foot one sixty five, as the freshman got taken to school. Edie short, and the rebound right to Duarte. It's remaining. Yeah, the goal here is to go on a run and get it under double digits. No easy pass. But at the next time out, that's the way to get it started with the three ball. Trap, you've got four players, or the equivalent of, on one player. Anderson trying to turn the corner, and he is fouled as he crosses midcourt. As they continue to hang around and have an opportunity to cut into that deficit. Figueroa's been the hot hand. He stays hot. LJ Figueroa buries it. From that point forward, uh, they played solid enough basketball, good enough basketball to win, but if you bury yourself down 21 at the half, uh, that's the lesson. Duarte on the leak out. And they prove once again why they were on such a roll heading into this weekend. Now 12 and 3 coming into this game. They will be now 13 and 3 in Pac-12 play, 19 and 4 overall, and USC wire to wire with a 72-58 victory.